are on the five south i'm south uh, it's a it's a palm sunday weekend and we're on a mission to visit two churches it's around 6 35 a.m here in southern california on the five south so two churches we're going to be visiting because it's palm sunday is um Mission San Juan Capistrano, and then we're gonna head out to Immaculate Conception in Old Town, San Diego. Um, the exciting part of it is that we're gonna be taking the Amtrak train for the first time ever, and so we're so excited about that. We're gonna be taking the Pacific Surf Liner, I believe that's what it's called, Pacific Surf Liner. So it takes about an hour and a half to get to. Old Town San Diego from Mission San Juan Capistrano. Oh, sorry, Fia, from Mission San Juan Capistrano to Old Town San Diego is about an hour and a half by train. And I heard that there's going to be a lot of great views, ocean views, and everything. So we're all set to do that, and we'll see what happens. We're so excited. I've got everyone here. We're all excited to go. So. Happy Sunday, so we'll see what happens and uh, we'll come back again in a few minutes. We're here at Mission San Juan Capistrano and some people are already holding their palms for Palm Sunday weekend. go inside the church looks like the mass just ended I thought there was a 7:30 a.m. mass but it looks like it just ended so let's go inside the church This is the statue of St. Peregrine. He's the cancer patron saint. We used to visit the Sarah Chapel every first Sunday to pray for all who are sick with cancer. The Mass hasn't started and it's going to start at 7.30. Yeah, pretty palms for Palm Sunday weekend. Dina, anong gusto gusto mo to nika? Beautiful church. So we were just right there earlier at uh, inside the church and. We prayed in front of uh, St. Peregrine. St. Peregrine is the uh, patron saint for cancer patients. So all three of us here, my mom, my friend Lena and I are all cancer survivors. So we're very grateful that we're here and we made it through. So when the Sarah Chapel, where St. Peregrine Shrine is located in the other old small chapel we used to go there every first sunday of the month and pray and you'll see a lot of uh, devotees who are cancer patients as well praying so we're very thankful that we've made it through we survived being vulnerable with the covid and we survived the covid year as well so hopefully we can all take our vaccines very soon still here driving around Mission San Juan Capistrano. 
and we're heading out now to the Amtrak train station. That's the mission store. And over here somewhere behind this fence is uh, where the Sarah Chapel is with uh, St. Peregrine Shrine. of Mission San Juan Capistrano. This is where they have all the restaurants. And we're going to try to find the train station. So it'll be somewhere over here. I'm going to find parking first. That's the northbound train. 7.30 when you said. Is this, is, this is not our train going to San Diego. No. This one is heading out to towards mm -hmm. Los Angeles and probably going to Camarillo and to uh, <coughs> San Luis Obispo. This is the 7:30 train <coughs> heading out to Los Angeles. Getting out of the parking lot and we're gonna walk around here in uh, Mission San Juan Capistrano for a little bit. We're at the train station now. We got here a little early. Our trains, we're supposed to leave at 8.09 to go to Old Town San Diego, but we're a little early here, so we're gonna go ahead and walk around for a little bit. There's a lot of restaurants here. And we're at the Los Reyes Historic District. And there's the railroad tracks. And that's a good restaurant there. We've eaten there before, Trevor's at the tracks. Gotta be careful. Make sure no trains coming as we cross the track. I love San Juan Capistrano and uh, I usually visit here at least uh, once a quarter we do. Well, this one is a restaurant. They have an outdoor sitting. It's the Hummingbird Cafe. This is a beautiful place to walk around. Lots of garden, flowers, and this, lots of restaurants in this area too. They look like homes, but most of them are actually restaurants. This one says the Ramos House Cafe. <clears throat> and this one is a little boutique gift, gift store, gift shop. And uh, we've eaten here before. We've dined here at the tea house. 
in the past. They have a nice little rose garden in the back. So it's worth the time to come out here from LA County from Los Angeles from our area it's about we drove here about uh, 30 miles so it took us about um, 35 minutes or 40 minutes to get here usually okay so I'm gonna go back to the train station and walk around there again and uh, wait for our train I think we've got about maybe 30 minutes before our train gets here Hi. yes wow Oh, Rob. Is this for coach? Hi. Here's a train. Let's go upstairs. So you can turn around the seat. Oh yeah, it's better right here. Hi, sit here with Lena. Pier. Isn't that the San Clemente Pier, Rob? I don't know. Where can you ship your bag at? There's yeah, a lot of people. 